Assalamu alaikum to all the panels. I am Husnavidi Fazil and will present my final year project findings titled Revisiting Public Practice Precautions Among Online Shoppers for the Prevention of Format Transmission During Post-Pandemic. This is my flow of presentation for today. There are three main ways of COVID-19 virus transmission. First, direct contact between persons. Second, airborne transmission through droplets and aerosols, release when coughing, sneezing, talking, or exhaling. And third, indirect contact with fomites. Direct contact and airborne are well known as the primary modes of transmission, but the role of fomites in spreading the disease cannot be overlooked, especially when online shopping trends continuously evolve higher than pro pandemic levels and witness sustained growth in this post pandemic era. Rock may define for mice as any inanimate objects or surfaces that can harbor and transmit pathogens. COVID-19 virus can survive for several hours in the air and may persist on various surfaces like plastic, cardboard, or stainless steel for 2 days up to 9 days, depending on the environmental conditions. The current study is a continuation of previous study conducted by my supervisor, Dr. Noreen Hussein. Dr. Noreen's study focused on online shoppers' awareness and knowledge of format transmission during a pandemic, while my study emphasizes the post-pandemic situation. As the world navigates through the aftermath of the pandemic, this study aimed to determine the level of Malaysian online shoppers' knowledge and awareness of format transmission post-pandemic. While identifying the precautionary measurements practiced by them in preventing the disease via fomites. There is no doubt that physical shopping still has its space, especially after the pandemic. But the convenience and benefits of online shopping using Shopee, Lazada, TikTok Shop, and other e commerce platforms have become deeply ingrained in Malaysian consumer behavior. Because of that, it is important to understand the link between online shoppers with COVID-19 format transmission. Online shoppers might worry about sellers or delivery personnel that may be infected with the virus as they handle the orders. Besides, online shoppers face risks from commonly touched surfaces like door knobs, elevator buttons, especially those live in high-rise buildings, handrails, or even the signing tools when collecting their purchases. These contact points pose a potential risk of virus transmission via parcels for Malaysian online shoppers. This study adopts a quantitative method consisting of a cross-sectional survey that had been distributed from April to June 2024 in all states in Malaysia via Facebook, Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Gmail. The study was organized into three phases, questionnaire development, data collection, and lastly, data analysis. In the first phase, the survey instrument was developed and revised to ensure clarity and reliability. The questionnaires were divided into four sections. First, demographic characteristics. Second, COVID-19 knowledge section taken using 5-point degree scale. Third, the precautionary measurements taken by online shoppers. And fourth, the psychological impact regarding the pandemic. The survey was forward and backward translated to ensure linguistic and cultural appropriateness for accurate data collection across diverse populations. Next, second phase. The questionnaires were distributed to a minimum of 385 sample sizes with an additional 30 samples from the first phase to account for potential non-response, resulting in the final sample size of 415. The sample size was calculated using RawSoft software. Lastly, third phase was data analysis. Data were interpreted as descriptive analysis. Besides, all the data were visualized using various charts and tables. Fig 1 has shown a higher proportion of female than male responders, indicating women's greater engagement in online shopping. From Fig 2, majority of respondents were Malay, followed by other races, while Slango in Fig 3 had shown as the largest geographical representation in this study. The 18 to 27 age group was the most represented in Fig 4 highlighting the younger generation's dominance in online shopping practices. As we can see in Figure 5, most Malaysians shop at least once or twice a month across various platforms. The respondents' knowledge was evaluated using 10 questions. Data from Table 1 has shown majority respondents were aware that the virus spreads through respiratory droplets and close contact with infected persons. They recognized handshakes and contaminated surfaces as a transmission route. 
Most of the respondents also acknowledge asymptomatic carriers contribute to transmission. Only a small percentage ranging from 1.7% to 4.6% lack general knowledge about COVID-19 transmission. Meanwhile, from Table 2, online shoppers' knowledge regarding the virus viability on different surfaces was notably low, with most expressing uncertainty due to limited exposure to information. The survey posts six precautionary measures taken by online shoppers. From Table 3, respondents showed positive trends in hand hygiene, but a significant number of respondents reported not wearing masks or disinfecting muscles after the pandemic subsided. This is because most nations believe wearing a mask is now a personal choice and they perceive that the risk of illness spread via packages is minimal. Over half of the respondents preferred to enjoy outdoor activities like socializing and recreation after prolonged confinement at home. This section has five questions about the psychological state of online shoppers in the post-pandemic period. Table 4 showed high levels of concern and anxiety among respondents regarding COVID-19. However, only a minority reported that their daily mood was negatively affected. Notably, around 61.4% of online shoppers were still attentive to pandemic-related news. In summary, Online shoppers exhibit good awareness of COVID-19 transmission but lack understanding of the virus survival period. Nearly half online shoppers took maximum precautions but there is a need to further educate on preventive actions. There are some measures that can be taken. Firstly, format transmission of the virus is uncommon but not risk-free. Continuous public education should be maintained to prevent its resurgence. Secondly, Malaysians often skip sanitizing deliveries. Authorities can encourage sellers to use antimicrobial packaging to reduce formite transmission rates. Studies on nanocomposite coatings and antimicrobial agents for packaging shows promise, but more research is needed for wider application. Lastly, the pandemic highlighted the need to provide emotional and mental support to reduce stress and anxiety for online shoppers. This can be achieved through psychosocial support programs, mental health counseling, and genuine news sources. This is my references for this presentation. That's all from me. Thank you for listening.